Three Growlers, a show for craft beer drinkers like you by craft beer drinkers like you. Created by Beer Ploma. Check us out at beerploma.com. Well, thank you, Chris. Um, and uh, here we are, start of uh, season two of uh, the, the now the, the Three Growlers. So um, as you guys know, on our last episode, uh, Lynn retired and uh, stepped off to move uh, on to some other things. And uh, so we had the arduous task of finding some new co-hosts. So uh, I'd like to introduce our new co-hosts here. We've got Chris, a uh, longtime friend of uh, Beer Ploma and uh, an avid craft beer drinker, and actually you guest starred on our show. So uh, welcome aboard. You got anything you want to say? Great to be back. Uh, looking forward to this new season of Three Growlers. Yes, okay. Well, th thanks again. So, And of course, we got Jason, new to the show. Well, welcome aboard. And um, uh, welcome aboard. So uh, what uh, what brought you to uh, Three Growlers? Why did you decide to take this gig? <laughs> well, thank you very much for having me. I'm happy to be here, and I'm excited to learn about craft beer. It's definitely been an interest uh, for a while now, especially since meeting you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to taste some good beers and learn all about them. Okay, well now first off, I, I have to run a caveat there. Not all beers are great, so I mean we're going to run into some stinkers every now and then. But not tonight. We've not got some great beers lined up here tonight. So um, with that, uh, let's should we get into the news bites? Sure, let's do that. Okay, guys, uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to stick to the script here on this one. Uh, uh, beer Ploma, we're on the docket here today. We've got some beer classes coming up on April 10th in Richfield and on May 22nd in Bloomington. You can go to BR, that's communityed.com, for more information. Shells has some uh, bevy of new beers coming out, including their new Pilsner series. Uh, we'll be launching soon. Now, I have to tell you guys, I am really excited about this, this new Pilsner line. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but it's a multi-pack, and it comes with four different Pilsners. One is like their original formula. One is like their newer formula, and then the other two are created by their brewers in-house. In so it, in one box, you get to taste a really good range of what a Pilsner should taste like. So, And if there's one thing Shells does really awesome, it's brewing traditional German-style beers. They are Minnesota's traditional German craft beer experts. So I'm really looking forward to that one, and uh, you will definitely probably see that on our, on our April shows. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that one, too. Um, also with Shells, uh, keep an eye at, on uh, shellsbrewery.com for more information about upcoming release parties. And also Shells Goose Town will be debuting in cans this summer. St. Patrick's Day Rally for Sunday Liquor Sales is coming up. It's being hosted by the MN Beer Activists. It's on March 17th. Starts at 7 p.m. and it's at First Avenue. And it's going to be featuring mu uh, music from Romantica, White Iron Band, Silverback, and Mark Andrew. Visit mnbeeractivist.com for more information. Also, if you guys want to meet up with the Beer Ploma crew, we'll be at the following events. Uh, the first one is Wings and Brew Fest, March 15th from 4, four to 8. Uh, tickets are $35, and you can go to Wings and Brew Fest for more information. Uh, we also have, we'll be at the MN Brewers Ball, which is March 28th from 7 to 11 p.m., it will be at the DQ Club Room at the TCF Stadium, and it's to help fight uh, cystic fibrosis, so please go to mnbrewersball.com. And lastly, we'll be helping out uh, our friend of the podcast, Brow Brothers, and we'll be at their booth pouring beer at the Northern Light Rare Beer Fest. Uh, you can go to northernlightrarebeerfest.com for more information. That's on March 29th at the History Center. So if you do want to meet up with us, drop us a line in the comments section or on Facebook and Twitter. We'll be, uh, we'll be looking forward to hearing from you. And that's all for news. Okay, guys, well, you guys noticed that we are kind of in a new location here. We are actually in Jason's bar. Jason, thanks for hosting us. Anytime. So uh, it, it's still a little cold outside to be in the garage yet, so uh, we're hunkering down here at least until the snow melts. Um, but hey, you know, that's just around the corner, and with that coming, uh, the outdoor season is kind of kicking off. And with us being in such close proximity to the Boundary Waters Canoe area, and we have such a good, strong following in Duluth, um, I thought this would be, I, I thought this next product that we're going to introduce would be a really great idea to have on our show, to introduce that to the, all the backpackers and canoers that we have in this state. And so with that, um, I reached out to Pat's Backcountry Beverages, and what they make is they make sort of like a, a, a dehydrated beer just for backpackers. And it comes with everything that they need in a low, lightweight um, 
product so that it fits well in their backpack, doesn't eat up, doesn't eat up a whole lot of space or weight, which are really important things uh, to a backpacker or canoer or, or whatever outdoor activity you're into. And uh, so we're bringing their product on here on the shirts. So we're going to take a look at it. So they sent us both their flavors. They sent us their uh, their 1919 Pale Rail and also their Black Hops. They also sent us some activator packets, which is going to uh, give the carbonation to the water. And then they've got this nice sporty Nalgene bottle with this uh, special chamber up in there to um, to carbonate the beverage. So, well, guys, you guys want to try this out? Yeah, definitely. Sure. Okay. It's a... Uh, more of a beer concentrate. It's yeah. liquidy. Yes, it is very liquid. Yeah, and, th and that's what they said. And they actually have to, when they sell this, they actually have to sell it through a liquor distributor and not through their own website because obviously you can't be a provider and a, and a distributor at the same time. So they had to go through a third party to, in order to get this to us even. So, hmm. okay, well, I'm going to jump back behind the camera and uh, Chris will let you have it. I'll get you the instructions here. All right, go for it. Here you go. The first step is we'll put a little bit of water in the main cup and then we prime it. So this is the actuator cup. We set this aside for right now. Jason, you want to do the honors? So now we're going to prime it, is that what we're doing? Yep. The next part is you pull this tab back 45 degrees and you'll do that six times. Six. Okay. All right. And we open it back up. The next step is we're going to pour 16 ounces of water into the main cup. And we have decided to make the 1919 Pale Rail. So we'll open up the packet. We'll pour in the concentrate. Don't worry, Chris, it happens to everybody. <laughs> I got a little excited. <laughs> but wouldn't anybody making their own beer? This is exciting. I'm excited to taste it. The next step is we'll add a packet of activator into the reaction cup. Okay, the next step is we will take the reaction cup and secure it to the cap. The cap, whole housing goes back to the bottle, and we lift it up. You can so go ahead. Okay, so we've been shaking this for about two minutes, and we're ready to pour. All right. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Thanks for mixing that up for us, Chris. So uh, why don't you do the honors and uh, pour some beer? All right. So nicely carbonated. Very nicely carbonated. Now, um, while, while you're pouring this out, uh, I, I just want to shoot out a, a real quick caveat here that I've been working with uh, Scott and Pat from uh, Pat's Backcountry Beverages, uh, and they wanted me to tell everybody, make sure that everybody knows that, guys, if uh, you guys are ordering this, thinking that you guys are going to be getting, like, uh, a craft beer from, like, a brewery, no, that's not what this product is. This product is for backpackers and campers and outdoors enthusiasts 
who uh, go out and can't take cans or bottles with them. So this gives them the opportunity to bring craft beer with them. So, uh, and he, how did he say it? He said, if you're looking for the shoots, go buy the shoots. If you're looking for something in the middle of nowhere, then uh, this is probably the beer for you. But uh, I'm actually looking forward to this. I think it's going to do very well here. So it's, it's got the right color for, uh, for, uh, for pale ale, for sure. Mm -hmm. Got a nice caramely note to it. And it does have some carb carbonation that is sticking around the glass. Uh, yeah, well, that's actually called a Brussels lace. Brussels lace? Yes, Brussels lace. And that's actually a good sign that, number one, it's a, it's a sign of a good quality beer. And number two, it's a sign that you're cleaning your glasses properly. Because if you have soapy, soapy residue in your glasses, that will, not, that will not be there. So just straight hot water when you're washing your glasses, pretty much? Mm -hmm. Well, occasionally, it's okay to run them through a dishwasher. So, so that's what I would do with these at the end of the day. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, other than that, in between beers, I try to stick to just hot water. So it, it's 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 sweet, but um, I mean, outside of that, uh, it's 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 a beer for backpackers. And I I've, yeah, I, I I went hiking in the mountains before, and I would have loved to have had something like this. Oh, definitely. This holds up fairly well. Yes, it does. It, it holds up extremely well. Yeah. So. It, I mean, I, I, I don't know what they meant by that caveat. But very well done job, guys, at Paths Backcountry Beverages. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys did an excellent job at making a, a beer concentrate that you can make on the trail. Well, here's to the first episode, guys. Prost. 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 We're actually going to do the... We, they also sent us their Black IPA, but you know what? We're going to save that one for our blog. So if you want to check out our blog, please go to uh, www.beerploma.com and uh, just click on the blog uh, link there, and that will take you right to our blog. And uh, hopefully within a week of this episode shooting, we'll be able to have that out there too. So, uh, And if you guys have more questions about uh, Paths Backcountry Beverages, by the way, they don't just do beer. They also have a soda system. So uh, make sure you guys want to check that out. You just want to go to www.patsbcb. Dot com, and I'm going to put that right here at the bottom of the screen for all of you guys. Okay, uh, with that, I think that's all for today, uh, for this episode. So um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the episode. So um, again, uh, give them a nod, uh, especially if you are heading up to the Boundary Waters canoe area. Uh, that's Pat's Backcountry Beverages. And thanks again, guys, for sending us the, the care package. So it was great to, to sample your beers on our show. So uh, that's the end of uh, episode one of uh, season two of Two Growlers. And uh, if you like this show, make sure you click that little like box. And uh, also, please leave us a comment either here on YouTube or on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we'd love to hear back from you guys. If you guys have show ideas, want us to try a new beer, uh, we would really love to hear from you. So uh, without that, without further ado, prost. Prost. prost.